I was so angry that I, I didn't even want to see a video, honestly. And it's caught on camera. Thieves stealing a trailer and thousands of dollars in tools. Yet another example of a crime that exposes a loophole in the law. It's a loophole I first exposed seven years ago. It's never been closed. This is a story of interstate crime and an Oregon law that makes it easy for crooks to get away with it by stealing from people who live in Washington. It, my wife came out and she came run back in. My trailer's gone. The white trailer Heath Getchell is standing in front of is an expensive replacement for the red one that used to sit in front of his Clark County house, seen in this video recorded by a neighbor's surveillance camera from across the street. And you can watch, as he painfully did, the thieves hook it up to an SUV and then drive away without anyone noticing. So me and my wife were more than likely eating dinner in our kitchen. We have an island that we eat on and we we're probably right there just eating and while wow, this happened. It wasn't in the middle of the night. No. 8.30 at night. 8.30. 15 minutes earlier, you can see the SUV first drive by Getchell's house. It returns from the other direction. A person gets out and guides the driver who reverses up to the trailer. Despite the fact Heath had a lock on the hitch of the trailer, it would only take the thieves minutes to hook up and pull away. As a contractor, Getchell's career was in that trailer. He learned the hard way. He should have had insurance. I, I was out about $23,000. I mean, every tool that I owned was in that trailer. He posted the theft on Facebook. If I woke up, I like woke up with this message on Messenger saying, hey, I know where your trucks or where your trailer's at. He says this is his trailer advertised on Facebook Marketplace for $2,500 in Gresham. Cops told me to make an arrangement to meet the guy myself, and if it turns out to be my property, then give them a call and they'll come. I just thought that was a little shady for me to kind of go all the way over to Gresham and handle something like that on my own. Thought it was too dangerous? Yeah, it's way too dangerous. Then on social media, he started hearing about an Oregon law that makes these thefts possible. Look at the Oregon DMV website, and it says right here, you do not have to title or register trailers with a loaded weight of 1,800 pounds or less. That means you don't even have to have a license plate. And that's different from Washington, where everything on the road has to be licensed. It's a problem that's been around a long time. I'm kissing the trailer goodbye. But in 2016, I did this story on Russ Dunn, whose trailer was stolen from in front of his Vancouver house. The thief so bold, he took this picture and placed this ad on Craigslist before he stole the trailer. When the thief sold the trailer, he told the Vancouver buyer, Dick Salmon, the trailer was from Oregon. Did it seem like it was stolen? I did. Oregon trailers don't have titles, so I bought it. I asked the Clark County Sheriff's Office to search its files to get an idea of how bad the problem is. They sent me this chart showing how stolen trailers have spiked since 2018. More than 100 were stolen in the second half of last year and the first quarter of this year in the county alone. Vancouver police told me they could not provide numbers for their jurisdiction. Well, I will then. I will reach out and write a letter. After I suggested Heath contact his local state lawmakers, he wrote this email to a senator and two state representatives for Southwest Washington, saying in part, the police won't do a thing. They tell you to contact your state rep right away. A real bad loophole for thieves. When I followed up, Representative Stephanie McClintock wrote, I will inquire on this during the interim and reach out to the appropriate committee members in the Oregon State Legislature. In April, Senator Ann Rivers responded, I have a meeting with an Oregon senator next week where this item is the topic of conversation. We're hoping to hear from Rivers about how that meeting went. Meanwhile, Heath Getchell put more security measures on his new trailer, hoping his misfortune is someone else's valuable lesson. It's a big, it's a big loophole that, that the thieves have found a way to steal things and leaving you stuck. A lot of people stuck. So here's another warning. If you buy a trailer with no identifying marks and then try to license it in Washington, beware, you might not ever be able to get it registered without 
a title. All right, and your report mentions the Oregon DMV and points out that loophole that you found on the website there too. What does the Oregon DMV say about this? The same thing they said in 2016, that there's no legislation, uh, nobody's talking about this, nobody's talked about it for several years. And remember, even if there were legislation, the Oregon Senate mm -hmm. is in a stalemate right now, and so nothing is getting through. Yeah, so. there's that. There is that. All right. Uh, let's get back to that that fire that we're 